Fun-loving Corinna and Ron are making a big change in their lives. It passes the test! Moving away from the city to live by the lake. We are here! They're on the hunt for a four-season property that meets their high expectations. Oh, okay, I found the first catch. They aren't afraid to do a little redesigning to get perfection. You're going to want to change this entire kitchen, aren't you? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> can I find them a suitable place where they can work, play, and live year-round? They have a budget and a wish list. Now it's time to find out what's for sale. Corinna and Ron are in the middle of a huge <laughs> transition, relocating their busy lives to Lake Country. Being here is where our hearts are. They need a place where they can relax, but also be able to take care of business. Ron and I both own our own business. I work really long, crazy hours. I need the peace and quiet. Contractor Ron knows a solid build when he sees it, while Corinna has a keen eye for space and design. For me, it's a creative outlet because my work is not creative, really. The biggest challenge for me with Corinna and Ron is to find them that perfect year-round property. It's not like living in the city where every modern convenience is at your doorstep. We have to love it just as much in the winter because we're going to deal with a lot of isolation up here. They need to be on a property that is easily accessible, can easily be snow plowed, plus they need a lot of space inside to live out the winter months. First and foremost, I have to have a separate office and kitchen is really big. Kitchen is the heart of the home and Ron and I love to cook, so the kitchen space has to be large. A kitchen and home office is key, but weather conditions can be harsh in the lake region. There's many different things you need to consider. What is the primary source of heat? How well insulated is it? And are you close to emergency services? But with a budget of $800,000, I'm confident that I'm going to be able to find them a really special property and also a place that will meet their specific year-round needs. So the first property I'm taking them to, Forest Home, has four bedrooms and an open concept living area with a huge kitchen. The asking price is $769,000. Oh, double car garage. One for you and another one for me. <laughs> That'll be a first. Oh, wow. Can you imagine the deer coming through here? Lots of wildlife. Yeah. Okay, oh, wow. Great open concept floor plan. Let's talk about the kitchen to start, Corinna, because when we spoke, you said that the kitchen was very high on your wish list. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're going to want to change this entire kitchen, aren't you? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Workable, it's just not what I would pick. Right. Yeah, I do like the openness. I like the layout. Good. So, you know, this is a very unique floor plan, I find. So you've got an informal sitting area here, but then you have a great room here. Oh, nice. It's a beautiful room. You've got the wood ceiling, your windows on either side, beautiful French doors on the deck. It's cozy, but it's got room. It's well done. Good. So high on your wish list was a screened in room. Correct. Yeah. So perhaps we should go through this door here. Yeah. <gasps> oh, I love this. Very okay, nice. this is where I'm staying the whole time. This is beautiful. Look Perfect. at the view. This space is very relaxing. I don't hear honking. I don't hear traffic. This is why we want to move up here. It doesn't get any more beautiful than this. Oh, they've done a very good job. The continuity, the workmanship is, is well done. This is awesome. A screened-in porch is a real perk. It keeps you away from the bugs so you can enjoy the property almost every month out of the summer months. So we've seen all the areas that you guys are going to relax in. So now let's go see the areas that you're going to sleep in. Oh, beautiful. All right. Oh, I like this space. So this is an amazing master bedroom. Yeah, this is a, a very nice size. I mean, we have a king bed, so that'll easily fit there. And that's a nice little alcove there with a nice window to look out. I think it would be a great place to relax. Soaker tub, stand-up shower, sink. Yeah, this is nice. So there's more to see on this floor. Ah. Good size guest bedroom. Another beautiful spot for a window seat. Nice big closet. Oh, and a good, yeah. Don't want it too big. You don't want the guests staying too long. No, exactly. So you told me very specifically that you were a 
busy, busy woman. Yeah. And you really needed a nice home office. Yeah, absolutely. So let's go. There's more to see. Oh. Very nice little rec room. Very nice. Ah, nice view, another nice big window. Mm -hmm. You have a two-piece washroom there, mm -hmm. a bedroom here, and why don't you go look behind that door? Okay. Oh, this is a nice, bright bedroom. Brenna, view. this is not a bedroom. This is going to be your office. Oh, you know, this would be a good space, actually, because it's very separate. When I'm done my day, I can close the door and say, night, night, see you tomorrow. Okay, well, guess what? What? I have another surprise in store for All you. All right. This one's for Ron. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is what he's looking for. This will work. Your own workshop, Ron. And I mean, you really wanted the garage and you said you could turn it into a workshop, but now you've got a two car garage and your very own workshop. It's a really nice space for a workshop, isn't it? That is fantastic. Okay, well, it's time to go look at the waterfront. Yeah, let's go check it out. <sighs> we are here. Really deep water off the dock but you also have the shallow gradual entry for your two puppies. So the water levels do fluctuate. So around August, it's going to start to go down. So this water is gonna go down drastically. Is that a problem? Yeah, the boating's gonna be a problem. If it's too shallow, then we've lost some of that season, which is already so short. Yep. So there seems to be a lot of pros for you at this property. Then we get to the waterfront and it may be the, the issue. Okay, well I will investigate the water levels and I'll get an answer for you. We do have another property to see today, so we're gonna head even further north and see another really great property on a really big lake. On the house, that's a 10 out of 10. Our big concern's gonna be the lake. I'm hoping the next property Rob shows us will be something that's well cared for as this property is. Um, just a, a better lake and a better shoreline. Corinna and Ron want to escape the chaos of the city to live and work in lake country. Look Perfect. at the view. This fun-loving couple has a lot of high expectations. Workable, it's just not what I would pick. Right. They really liked the first place I showed them. The house was a 10 out of 10, but the water levels were a bit of a concern. So this water is gonna go down. So I'm showing Corinna and Ron a brand new building on a spectacular waterfront. Ecolog Cabin is built with hemlock from local sources. This green home combines modern sustainable design with roots in pioneering construction techniques. This stunning four season property has a beautiful screened in sunroom, southwest exposure, and very deep water off the dock. The asking price is right at their budget, $799,000. I'm showing Karina and Ron the Eco Log Cabin because it is partially finished. The builder just started building it, and it's kind of a clean slate for them to put their own finishing touches on. You're definitely not gonna find this in the city. Oh, smell the wood, I love that. I love the exposed beams, the big window. It's got a really nice feel coming in. Great. I can see the kitchen is done. I have to take a closer look. It's very nice. I have to turn to my handyman here and say, removing this whole corner and relocating them elsewhere is probably not that big of a deal, right? Had I known that Corinne and Ron were gonna come see this property, I probably would have told the builder wait off on the kitchen. She really has her own sense of design and space. Definitely I wouldn't do a tear out. It would be just an altering probably of this corner. Okay, well high on your list was also a screened in sunroom. 100%. Right, so come with me. Look at this, now I feel like I live in a tree house. Yeah, it's gorgeous, eh? This brings me back my childhood memories. Look at the trees right here. This is really nice. It's a really beautiful lot. It has not been cleaned up or touched yet, so while you can't see the water right now, you can just limb up all over here and you're just gonna have beautiful lake yeah. views. This is really nice. Okay, good. So I love it. there's more to see on this main level. Excellent. So here we have the master bedroom. 
It's a bit small. Really? Oh yeah. I would have put this as either office size or a guest room. Okay, uh, this, this is your office then. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have a big spacious closet and an ensuite in your office. That's okay. Okay, so great, we have your office. That isn't quite how I was planning on it. It's but again, it's more repurposing. You know what? You're right? teaching me how to repurpose. Yeah. So come out here though. Okay. Wow. Look at the size of this deck. This is beautiful. I'll never get any work done. Yeah, but come on, like you have this is... right outside your office. Wow. The view, that vista is amazing. Okay, so more to see. Yeah. Let's go see if we can find a master somewhere. Yeah, so, yeah let's find out where we're gonna sleep. Oh, it's really small, but the architectural detail in the ceiling is really nice. Do you know what though? Maybe this is half of the master. What's on the other side of this wall? Oh, let me look, let me look. Oh, I think we found our master. Look, you can take this wall down as long as it's not load bearing, but it doesn't look to me like it is. And you, you take Great this master. whole corner out and you put the door right here. Yeah. And now you're walking into a whole suite. Awesome solution. Ron, see? you're gonna be working. Okay, yeah. well, you know what? There's more to see. Okay. And there's more projects for you, Ron. Thank see? you very much, Rob. <laughs> Follow me. More work. Aha, uh -huh. unfinished space. Unfinished basement. What's important is that we have a framed in bedroom here. So we do have a guest bedroom down here. You can do whatever you want here. You're probably gonna wanna put in a washroom, right? Mm -hmm. Because you're gonna be coming in and out from the lake through this walkout right here. So watch yourself because this is a very raw lot. Wow. It's still pretty though. It's very pretty. And as you can see, the waterfront is not far away. So it's gonna be a little tricky, but we have to go see this waterfront because it's beautiful. I was a mountain goat in my former life. I can do this. Okay. <gasps> Feel that breeze. Oh. So oh, wow. the water is deep, deep, deep. You're gonna put a dock in here and you're looking at being able to have your boat in here to the very, very end of the season. Beautiful. Awesome. I like the deep water for sure. It's not mucky, it's not weedy. The view is gorgeous. So that's great that the waterfront works for you. Yeah. I mean, obviously there were some challenges in the house. So you've seen two very different properties. Yeah, Right. very different. So now that I know a little bit more of exactly what you're looking for, I think that I should go and do a little homework and see if I can maybe come up with a third property for us to see. Yeah, that would be great. There's a lot of potential with this property. Corinne and Ron can turn it into the ideal home with the perfect waterfront, but it is at the top end of their budget. I have to consider the big relocation from the city they're about to take on. It could be that this new build adds too much to their budget and requires way too much work. Moving from the city to live and work in Lake Country is a huge transition. The first place I showed Corinne and Ron seemed perfect. I love this. Very nice. But the fluctuating water levels of the lakefront could cut their boating season short. The second property has great potential in the home and waterfront, but requires a lot of work. You take great this master. whole corner out and you put the door right here. Yeah. So I'm hoping the next property will bring together the perfect lot with a home that suits all their four season needs. It has west exposure, deep water, and multiple outbuildings. The list price is well under their budget at $649,000. Very nice. Wow. So one of the first features of this lot is this amazing sand beach. That's right, and look at that, like right there. Oh, it passes the test. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's perfect. This is hard enough that we can back the boat right in there. That's really hard to find. Perfect, good. And look how amazing this view is. This is spectacular. Oh, I mean, you can't get any closer to the water, wow deep enough for your big boat. Yeah. So I guess the question is now, will the building match the lot? This home is open concept. It has a good sized living room and a very spacious kitchen. Oh wow, you just walk in and the first thing you see is the lake right there. The view of the lake from the living room is big for Corinna. 
She needs to enjoy the view of the water in the summer as well as the winter when the ice freezes over. This home gives her wide open views that can be enjoyed all year long. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. The high ceiling and then the peaked windows up there. Beautiful fireplace and the stone. They've really done some really nice detail work in here. Great. So I know how important the kitchen is to you. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Oh, this is a really nice country kitchen. The woodwork, the apron sink, really nice. So I was really nervous about this because, you know, this kitchen could be very specific to a taste. So what you're telling me is specific to Corinna taste? This is very Corinna. This just says home, family, soft, inviting. Great. Everything just keeps getting checked off here, guys. Doing well, Rob. Doing We're doing well. really well. So high on your wish list was also that screened-in room. Yes. To get away from the bugs. This is actually really nice access for the barbecue right here, so close to the kitchen. And a nice screened-in bug room. This is a really nice size. It feels bigger than the one we saw yesterday. I think it is probably bigger. The only catch is it's not attached to the house. That's okay, it's right there. Perfect. So this is great, but you still have a lot on your wish list. Master bedroom being one of them. Mm -hmm. So I think we should go check that out. Perfect. Great. So guest bedroom there. Very nice. Uh, four piece bathroom there. Wow, they did a beautiful job in there too. But check out this master. <gasps> oh, this is really nice. Really, That'll look work. at a king bed and lots of room and the patio door to go outside. Seriously, Rob, where's the catch? We haven't hit the catch yet. This is really well, nice. What's behind this door? Maybe it's just a big old mess. Oh. Oh, that's. Okay, I found the first catch. What? It's a beautiful ensuite. You know what, it's it's okay. You know what I don't like? The shower. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. I just don't like these all enclosed thingies. Okay, but that's an easy change. Yeah. It is a very good size and it's a nice view. Do you see what's out there? Oh, there's another little house out there. A girl's got to work, Corinna. Oh, wow. Oh, sweet. Wow. Look at this, it's so bright and cheery. Welcome to your office. This is really nice. This will work. It's already insulated and has heat. So I can be out here year round and my commute is really short. As short as it gets. This is gonna give me the balance that I need. Great. And Ron, I don't know if you noticed, but when we walked by, there was a garage right I there. I did notice that. And there's one more surprise. Oh, isn't this cute? Ooh, nice. This is a complete bunkie. Yeah, absolutely heated, four season. Look at how they've done this. It's so cozy. So I guess the question is, how does this property compare to the other two properties that we've seen? I think we can honestly say we really love this property, but I think we need to discuss all three. Okay, I think we should sit down and review all the three properties. Sounds great. 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 Thank you. So I didn't know how this one was going to go. I knew I had the perfect lot for them, but because the buildings were separate, I wasn't sure if they were going to like that. So this is a big decision. They're going to be living here year round, and that does present some challenges. I've shown Corinna and Ron three very different housing options. They all have their highlights comfortable interiors to last out the winter months, great potential to finish a new build to their taste, or the perfect waterfront. I think they've learned a lot about what's really important in a four season lakefront property. But does one of them feel more like home? So let's review the three properties. Yeah. Okay, so we'll start with Forest Home. So really close to town, beautiful home, some issues on the lot. What did you think? We love the house. I mean, really, there wasn't much to say to criticize the house, the size, the curb appeal. The concern on that property would be the things that we can't change, which is the lake and the waterfront. Right, and I have investigated the water levels. I can say with confidence that you would have deep enough water to have your boat into late summer but I can't guarantee anything after that. Yeah. So then we had the Eco Log Cabin on a huge lake. It had the southwest exposure, the deep water, 
But there were some issues, I think, with the home. The house was too far along in the building process for us to be able to make construction decisions that would be more conducive to what we're looking for. The kitchen was a problem. The bedrooms were really, really small so that for a brand new home, it still needed construction. There was no storage there either. It was a very, very small lot and the shoreline was pretty rough. Yeah. yeah. So then that brings us to what I'm calling the perfect lot. Do you think it was the perfect lot? It honestly was, Rob. The shoreline, the deep lake, the walk-in sandy beach. We couldn't have asked for any more. It really was perfect. I think our biggest decision to make is the size of the house. It's much, much smaller than the home that we're coming from. So if we were to eliminate one right off the top, which one would it be? I think pretty safely we can say the echo log. It was at the upper limit of our budget and then to it finish was. it to put it to where we want it to be you've got the time and the extra expenses. It was a little bit of a budget buster. Yeah I would say so. So that leaves us with Forest Home which was just below our budget at 769000 and then there is the perfect lot which is well below our budget at 649900 So I'm leaning towards the perfect lot home. I mean, part of moving up here is a change of life. So maybe it means paring down and getting rid of a few things so that we can live peacefully in, in the perfect lot place. Yeah. I mean, I think that that waterfront home is perfect for you. I really, really felt that property. And if I have to give up some of my things, that's part of life. Great. Music to my ears. Cheers, Cheers. Rob. Thanks. To Corinna and Ron. Mm. I've had so much fun with Corinna and Ron. I wanted to find them their perfect forever dream home on the water, and I'm confident that I found that for them. This is going to be our home. This is no longer just a play place. This is forever, and uh, it's a big decision, but we're ready for it. Yeah, for sure.